hello everyone welcome to greenhouse talk welcome to bnc gardening experiments homestead and baking i just thank everybody for joining me on today for let's like i always say this is another day that the lord has made and i am rejoicing and i'm glad in it and i'm just so thankful and so grateful to be with you all again on another greenhouse talk episode i forgot what episode it is but we want to welcome you all to bnc garden experiments homestead and baking and i hadn't been seeing you all with a greenhouse talk in a while but i want to show you all what i have going on now in the greenhouse and i'm also going to do a quick garden tour of what I have going on now in the garden. I have some surprises already that I have going on and some things that I'm very proud of from my harvest, from seedings. And that makes you feel so good. You All of you that are farmers or gardeners per se, you know what I mean when I say that. It makes you feel good to see your hard work and things blooming from the seedings that you planted in the ground. And we just want to say thank you, Mr. Brian and I want to say thank you all to all our supporters, our family, friends, all those that have been supporting us. We thank you all so much. And I'm going to get right on into it, our greenhouse. I'm going to show you. I don't have as much as I had last time in the greenhouse. I have a few things going on, but they're looking good. And I'm going to show you all. And I'm going to give you a quick garden tour of what's going on in our garden right now. All right. Yeah, this is today. Okay. First, I want to show you all those Nestorians. I think I'm saying it right. Uh, they're kind of holding on because I haven't been putting as much work as I should lately. I've been busy doing other things in the greenhouse. So, really, uh, honestly, I really just got to water everything today but y'all see those in the stairs they still holding on they doing good i i have had plenty more recently and i think i got some more in another area growing and y'all see here i have lemon mint i have cucumber lemon now these is very dry so i will be making sure i uh water them today the salad mix here i think that's what this is i have a, a toothache plant someone gave me y'all see it and I have another small pepper plant back here. And this is a little section right here of my herbs. You all probably can see them. I have thyme. I forgot what that is. Oh, Utah. Utah. I think tall celery. Let me see. Basil. Oregano. German thyme. A German thyme. I have a couple of those back there. I have still have more Swiss chard. And let me see what this is here. I got to, everything is really dry today. But when I when I put some water on, they're gonna look even better. They're gonna come on back around. But that is bergamot bee balm. Now I have a other another different kind in the out there in the garden growing. And this is some beets, some flowers. Something, two of them not doing too well. And that's a tomato plant. I don't know what which, which one it is. But, uh, yeah. And here's some more seedings that I have planted. Um, let me see. Which one is this? I see the date on it, but I got... Okay. Salad mix. Oh, I'm excited about that, y'all. Because my plan is to not... My plan is, my goal is not to have to buy any salads throughout the summer, from, from now throughout the summer. No more tomatoes and no more cucumber. That's my plan, to save us some money. So it looks like my plan is working good and it's gonna come to pass. So yes, I'm excited about that salad mix. And let me show y'all the rest. I have chamomile, some different kind of different basils. I have parsley growing, 
cilantro, uh, some more watermelon plants. Look at them, y'all. They're doing pretty good back there. Let me see if I think I got them on there. I think y'all can see them. They doing pretty good. The seedlings are coming out. They germinated. Cantaloupe. I have see that cantaloupe. I have two rows of those. Black diamond, more rock watermelon. That one is not doing nothing yet. And y'all, I wanted to say this before I show you all. It's not good. I'm just gonna give y'all a hint. Well, not a hint, a suggestion. When you plant these seedings and different things, make sure you put the names on because any one of them that you don't do, you just forget because you're doing so many. Like I make myself, I plant a lot of seeds. And I know these, what I'm getting ready to show you all, are some kind of flower. I almost want to say impatience or what. I don't know. I forgot. So now I got to wait until... I don't know I got a lot of seedlings so I don't know how I'm gonna figure it out but we'll see but let me show you how just try to put your names on all of them as best you can because when you don't it just you just forget and you have to kind of guess and figure out what's what and what's what and we don't want to have to do that but let me show you all look at them they doing real good as y'all see I mean, I got plenty of them, and they need to be watered, of course. I haven't watered yet. So they're doing real good, as y'all see. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them. I think that's probably why I planted them like that, because they're, they're flowering plants. And so I have here okra. I have plenty of okra, what that is. Cantaloupe. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at those seedlings. They have germinated. And they have, this had not even been two weeks, y'all. More watermelon. Oh, I can't wait to put them in my watermelon plant, or uh, patch. More sweet corn. Oh, y'all. I cannot wait. I I got I got some sweet corn to show you all. I've been looking at this sweet corn ever since I first planted it, transplanted it in the garden. And I've been excited ever since. But let me, when I show you all today. I am even more excited. I can't wait to eat it and taste the seed that sweet corn out the garden. I'm excited and I can't wait. But hold on, let me show, let me show you uh <laughs> Mr. Aloe Vera. Aloe Vera. Here, here he is. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh one of you uh had come I got to take him out. He he look, last time y'all, it was babies. No more babies in there this time. Oh my goodness, look. It's about they about to take over the little new baby right here. And those babies, look how those babies have grown. So y'all know that I had I called him Mr. Aloe Vera. But look like I should have called it Mrs. Aloe Vera because she is multiplying in this pot. And I was really skeptical about I was really skeptical about her staying in this greenhouse. That's where she is. And because I didn't want to put her out in the garden because I figured something sure enough would get on her. Uh, those squirrels would get to her. But she's doing so good. I'm going to start calling her a she. And I'm going to have to take those out and put those in another container. All right. Let me show y'all the rest. Hold on. Okay. Up here, y'all, I have more cucumber a tender cucumber straight eight cucumber more beets uh, okra brandy wine tomato early early girl tomato giant red tomato radishes tom tomatella tomato i can't wait i think that's a tomato tomatella but i can't wait to get to them so let me come and show you all the garden. I got to be careful out here, y'all, because I saw a critter out here. I don't know if you want to call them slime or sliming away or whatever, but I saw one a week or two ago. I walked up on them, but I was looking at them. Glad I was paying attention, but I'm going to show you all some of the garden. And 
uh, the slime of the kind he was. Uh, my hubby told me he was a oak one, oak snake. That's what kind he said he was. But I saw him. I didn't see him in the garden, but I saw him on another part of the garden, around a tree, and I'll show y'all a tree. But let me show y'all some of the garden. All righty, y'all. This is my purple potato plant. Uh, you all have seen on one of the other videos, uh, Mr. B harvested some, uh, what they call them, red potatoes, the smaller ones. So this is our, this will be our second one. I, last year I harvested, I planted uh, sweet potatoes. I didn't do any this year, but these are purple potatoes, which I never grown before. But first time for everything, y'all. And that's the plant that's looking real good and healthy. And these are cabbages. Everything looking kind of dry. We had a lot of rain yesterday, but everything's still looking a little dry. Now these cabbages, these are the same ones I have been showing you all for a while. It was four of them. I moved two. And every time I decided to take them out, I said, no, I'm going to leave them. They looking a little funny, but they... They're doing good, per se, what they've been through. They've been through this winter time. Now they go almost going through the spring or summer. So they're still holding on. And I, I'm going to have to come and pull some of those plants off of them. I mean, the leaves off of them that's messed up and water them. And as y'all see, I have some peas. I, I, for some reason, y'all, those peas just wouldn't get any peas on them. But they're growing like crazy. I don't understand. I think we really far along in the pea season, I think. That may be why. I think they like cold weather better. So I probably will. I'm going to take them up. Sometime or another. And let me let y'all see. The, now I've been calling these, going back and forth. Calling them cabbages. Or, not cabbages. Or broccoli. Or Brussels sprouts. But I almost want to say they might be Brussels because it looks like they're starting to grow. Let me see if I can put it on on the little small little seedlings that they have. Y'all see them? So I don't know which one they are. I didn't put the name on those. See, that's what I was telling y'all. That's what I was telling y'all about the name. Make sure you put the name on here on the stuff that you plant. <laughs> so you won't be trying to figure it out. Yep. So let me show y'all some more. Okay. That's my kitty pool. I'm in the transition. I'm transitioning it. I'm getting ready to get well, let me put it on now. I'm getting ready to get uh the rest of the bee bomb and some of those herbs out of there. Oh my. Uh oh. Yeah, I look like something that's biting on my watermelon plants. See, I had, I uncovered everything, and now something coming back out here biting on stuff. Ooh, I'm upset. But I'm going to have to come back and cover cover my, my watermelon. Let me let y'all see the one that they look like something that bit off of right here. Something bit off my my watermelon plant. I don't like that. So I might have to come back and cover it up. Just the other side of the broccoli slash Brussels sprouts. I don't know. They only last leg. Now, that's them old leaves. We had a lot of water yesterday. I got to do some watering and I'm got to get some of those bad leaves out there. But let me show you all. I think this is okra down here. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's okra in there. It was looking kind of funny for a minute. And y'all look at that corn on the cob. Sweet corn. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait. I think it has two or three of them on here. I can't wait to get it out of the garden. Look at that. I'm so proud, y'all. Proud of myself. I'm doing that. 
Oh, oh, okay, that other one wasn't an okra. Maybe it was. Okay, here, I do know this is one. I was concerned about it too, but that's an okra plant. And there's a tomato plant. I don't think it... Okay, it's flowering, so it's coming along. It's coming along. Okay. Let me show you all my strawberry patch. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, wow, wow. I see some strawberries. Ooh. Give me one moment, y'all. I see some strawberries on here. Let me get in here. I must say I've been looking concerned about these strawberries. But let me let y'all see. Ooh, I see. I see a couple of them. Hold on, y'all. First, let me put the camera so y'all can see if anything in here. Because as y'all see, I got it uncovered. Let's see. Oh, that's some chard. Swiss chard I put in here. And onions. They're doing pretty good in there with it. More Swiss chard on that end. Oh, but I see some berries. Oh, I see some bread, y'all. Okay, is that one? Here's one. It's looking all right, but let's see. I'm gonna get it. Oh, that's one. I still see some more. Let's see. Let me clean this some of these brown leaves out of here. y'all see sometimes I think I pulled two men out let me see I see some strawberries y'all see look at that one big one. Oh, it looks so pretty I've been watching it for the last week look at that look at that y'all Ooh, that's going to be a treat for me. I think I seen one more. Let me see. Okay, it's, it ain't quite, but I'm going to go on and get it. I've been waiting for these strawberries to start doing something. Okay. Cleaning some. Ooh, there go another one, y'all. I got another one. Oh man, that one was on the ground. Here's another one. I mean, not on the ground, but that one was touching the the bottom. Let me see. All righty. Okay. Okay, y'all, so that would, that's not bad for a beginner. So I just made my own little strawberry patch. <laughs> yeah, made my own little, little, little patch. Oh, I'm getting stuck on here. Yeah, I made my own little strawberry patch. And let's show y'all again out of the kitty pool. Let me put these down. along with the bad ones I did get me I got me a few of them out there so here y'all let me show you the uh, celery this celery has overwintered I just say when I look at it as long as it's still green and alive I'm going to let it do what it do and every now and then I come out here and pick some off and I bake and cook with it. So, and I have some kind of flower in here. That's cute. But this is part of my project. I got a lot of plants up here, in here growing. It's a part of the project I'm working on.
And I'm gonna look at these. See, yeah, they need some sun and some water. So yeah, see, I've been busy. Yeah, I've been busy. All right, and let me take y'all around to the other side. Okay. Oh, look at here, y'all. I got my. I think this one. This is my first uh, pepper plant that I planted. It's looking so good. It's getting. Oh yeah. I'm, some peppers coming on there. And this is a zucchini. Look at how humongous this zucchini plant is. Oh my goodness. It's loving where it is, and I'm going to just let it stay there. It's got to be watered as well, but look how good it's doing. I got it trellised up pretty good. And I got some old strawberries there. Strawberries, some kind of salad. And I, I forgot what seed, <laughs> what seeds I, oh, I got it on there. Cucumber lemon, y'all, in this little container here. I put up seeds down. And try them, see how they grow, and they're doing good. And there's some more mysterians. And look at here, my hubby getting ready to harvest this. Do y'all see that pretty cabbage in there? That big pretty cabbage. Let's see. My hubby been watching this. He loves cabbages, and I planted this cabbage for him. And he been watching that cabbage for weeks. Well. Up about a month or two now, and it's about ready for him to harvest. He loves cabbages. I'm not crazy about them. Okay, let me bring y'all around. Oh, I got some zinnias. Y'all see my zinnias growing? Zinnias, ginger, and I think the other one is turmeric on the right. And this is, oh, I got a big leaf, I got a leaf, leaf, a big limb, a little limb off a tree. I got to get in there and get it. I forgot the name of that. <laughs> it's out of a uh, squash, a zucchini, y'all. <laughs> okay, look at here, I got a, all kind of stuff here, here y'all. So here, that's, uh, let me see, I got the, I'm gonna put the thing on here. Okay. Yeah, here. That's a, a tomato. I got the name in there, but I, I had to show y'all this time with the names of them because I didn't go in the fence. That's another tomato there. Uh, both of those. One, two cucumbers. Oh, I got another pepper doing good. I forgot what kind, but it's different than the other. More okra. Right here, another pepper. And look y'all, look at here. Look at that cucumber. And why it's just one, I don't know. But I'm thankful and I'm grateful for the one. <laughs> look like I'm gonna have some more in there soon though. I'm gonna let it get a whole lot more bigger. And I'm gonna, we gonna eat him in a salad. Let's see. Yep. So he was the only one they got fertilized. Not fertilized. What I'm trying to say. From the bee, pollinated. From the bee. Okay. And look at here. Those are those other two uh, cabbages I took from the other side, from the other ones. And I, I forgot what that is here. But it's growing and holding on. That's the spearmint plant. Y'all remember it's still doing good. Still doing good. And that right there on the side here, that plant, it's in the berry field. I don't know where, but uh, I'm going to show y'all in a minute. Me and my hubby, we put the other, the, uh, the grapevine, the other ones, the two vines that I showed you all before, we made a trellis for them, and I'm going to show you all. But that's a bear. But it looks like I'm gonna have to get 
put a trellis on there to hold him up. That berry tree, cause it's growing tall. And that's more corn over there. Y'all see it, sweet corn. The other one was looking so good, and I wish I had a uh, put the sweet corn in a whole garden bed. Next year, I will plan to do. I, the matter of fact, what y'all see there with the sweet corn in there, that container, we used to have collars in there. But the ants had taken over and I had stopped using it. And then I said, well, I'll put some corn in there. And as y'all see on the side, I have more sweet corn. And that's another berry bush. I don't know what it is because I don't, the names came off of some of my things. And look, he looks so lonesome in there. That is a some type of turnip. And the reason why he's in there, I think from the last video I showed y'all, where the ants had taken over again over my whole garden bed right here. They had they took over the whole thing. So I had been I hadn't got me no dyed tomatoes yet because that seemed to really help the other time. And I had just been kind of Drown them out, and I just left that one in there. We're gonna see how he do. And here, that's the okra plant, y'all. He must don't like right here, but uh, we're gonna see how he hold on. We're gonna see. I'm not gonna, I thought to take it up, but I did. But here, oh, this is my biggest tomato plant that I have. I'm looking and inspecting some tomatoes be growing on here. Matter of fact, I have one on here, y'all. Let me see if I can show it to you. A small tomato. Look like at that. There he is. How y'all seeing? Let me see. Growing on there. As I look at him, he's getting bigger and bigger. Y'all see him? Yeah, I'm so proud of that. And I, I, I can't see the name of it. I got it inside there, but I can't see the name. And let me see what this is. Oh, that's four hood. That's chard. That's a chard plant. And this is some garlic, y'all. I just gave it a try because I lost all my garlic and onions. They, <coughs> excuse me. They had some kind of disease or something. So I planted more. We're going to see how that do. I'll keep y'all informed. And here, this is our grapevine. I think it was one of them was a muscadine vine, and the other was a grapevine. So, as y'all see, me and my hubby got creative, and we made that to put them, put them on there. And they seem to be holding up pretty good. We did them weeks ago. They seem to be holding up pretty good. I'm planting them in the ground. And I put some. Uh, what that is uh, not cow manure chicken manure and some uh, fruit fertilizer in the, in the ground in the hole before we planted it so they must like it because they're both doing good yeah. So, yeah I'm about 15 20 something minutes in this video y'all i hope y'all been enjoying what i've been showing you all giving y'all an update on our garden but let me show y'all mr banana or mrs banana last time i showed it he was going through some things and trying to come around from that bad weather but look at him now doing good so here's the area y'all and I look very careful before I come in here again because I haven't forgotten but right in this area right there near where that sunflower is y'all see I come out here one day and he because I always know to look before I step out here even though we keep it pretty clean, but as y'all see, it's woods back there, not too far from here. But anyway, I come out here and I was looking, and 
He was peeping his head up at me. And I was peeping my head over at him. It was a snake. He was sitting just right here like he was at home. Oh, of course, I couldn't get him. I had to go get my neighbor. He got him. But, <laughs> and I haven't seen him, so I'd be very careful when I come back out here. And I was told it was an oak snake, but a snake is a snake. But look at that. My mother planted that for me while I was recovering from the surgeon. Was well, still yet in recovery, but I just started back to working. And I was, I love that plant. And look at that, I like that. I fished and I fished this up myself last year, y'all. I got a little creator, and I fished this up myself last year. I put those bricks, as y'all see, around the tree. See, and I, I'm proud of my hard work, cause it was some hard work. And I have another um, sunflower. He looking kind of dry. Everything when the sun go down, I'm watering real good. But he's very big, as y'all see. So I thank y'all for the, coming along with me again. My hair flying everywhere. I thank y'all for coming along with me again on this journey with me, this garden journey. And just listen to me and let me just show you all what's going on in my garden as well as in my greenhouse and we want to say thank you all once again don't forget to like subscribe and share and we want to say thank you all for watching our our video and y'all have a good day thank y'all see y'all next time bye bye